Hello guys, welcome into Palova Camp Second Main Road. Please come in. Ready to start the day with some running, so please follow me to the beach. I've been nearly two decades now in Chennai since I came over in 97 from uh, Belgium. I've always been kind of close to nature and outdoors from my childhood days. Uh, I grew up in the outskirts, a uh, little green belt, you can say, in a small town called Loken in Belgium, Western Europe. My dad and mom used to have a big garden. Uh, there used to be a big forest, a big lawn. But I think these young days, experiences when you're uh, a young fresh mind when you're very receptive to experiences to the surroundings makes really a very big impression and impact on you on the rest of your life i think throughout the years i have always uh, carried along with me i've always had strong active connection with nature and the urge the passion to be very active uh, that has been very important in later years modern day cities have less exposure to the outdoors have kind of lost their connection with nature i think it's also very important that we bring up kids uh, uh, close to nature taking them out on hikes on swims on camping so that uh, we make a brick impression on these young minds uh, which will have a very positive impact on uh, their later uh, years when they grow up i'm working with peter for last uh, 10 years Four or five years uh, back, so he was completely into technical. So when it comes to design document reviews or uh, some architectural reviews, uh, you can't find a better person who is technically stronger than him. I'm not sure I will be at Cisco if uh, Peter wasn't my manager. The Chennai Trekking Club was founded like seven years ago in 2008. And uh, very soon, I mean, a lot of people joined are finding us through Google and through the reference, through word of mouth. So very soon there was like a very close bonding between uh, the regular people Nate, who joined us on a regular basis. So in 2009, I remember November, uh, we started with our uh, first uh, Safe Tada mission, which was actually like an uh, initiative where we had some 150 people participating and removing some two tons of garbage from a so-called eco-tourist development place, the Tada Waterfalls, a famous trekking spot. 2010 January immediately, we started with our first uh, Chennai coastal cleanup. So that was like a uh, massive uh, cleanup campaign of the Chennai beaches uh, with hundreds of people. Weekday treks actually are extremely popular because it's close by the city. We're asking people, are you a lifesaver? Which basically means, have you donated blood recently? Are you in, do you care for Mother Earth in the in a sense of, have you uh, planted any trees or joined any of the weekly tree maintenance activities? Then we also have the weekly cleanup activities where people can uh, contribute something back to society, back to CTC. And the fourth uh, check which we do on uh, people who apply for these weekday camps is uh, whether they have volunteered. So every month almost of the year we have a major sports event happening in CTC. So that way we kind of always uh, are able now to kind of shortlist out of 200 applications, some kind of uh, 50 eventually uh, shortlisted people. More than that becomes actually difficult to manage from a logistics point of view, from a food preparation point of view interesting way to get a first exposure to the outdoors, to nature and, and to CTC as a group. I mean, we are, for somebody who is new to uh, CTC, it's uh, important to get a little bit of trust, a little bit of confidence in the group, see the kind of people that are there in the kind of atmosphere, volunteer-based, non-profit-based uh, ambience we have before they kind of uh, join us on other events. So then when I came to India like around 18 years ago in 98, uh, so then I was really impressed by the, the beauty of the Indian subcontinent, uh, the Western Ghats, the Himalayas. Initially I started, uh, I got myself one of these Enfield bullets and I, for two years I think I finished on 50,000 kilometers. Okay, let's go. We'll uh, get some more drinking water. I think we're running low. We have a small companion here. Hey. Look, when you go out in the night, you should always be careful because um, nocturnal animals 
or there like snakes and scorpions and so. so voila. This way. So this is Kumili Lake which normally has a pretty good capacity, but I guess because of the summer, the uh, water level is less. And whoops, as we can see, I think the, the water is, is a bit semi-muddy. Yeah? So I think uh, we'll probably have to look for alternative uh, uh, drinking uh, water sources. There is a big well nearby. We can take a look at the well also maybe, if we can see anything there. Uh, can somebody pull me out? Yeah. come with you. Yeah, voila. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the outdoors. Uh, we are cooking chapatis here, we have biryani in the other place. We have veg curry, we have uh, bread halwa. So, and, uh, so the, most of the evening is spent on that. Then we sleep under the stars and, and the full moon today. Not too many clouds are there. And uh, then the next morning, basically, we go on a small trek to one of the nearby hills uh, in the outskirts of the city, followed by a nice refreshing dip in one of those crystal clear blue lagoon, lagoonish type of quarries. Uh, so today we are scaling a 150 meter high peak. So these uh, hills around us here, left and right, are part of the Eastern Ghats. Eastern Ghats were formed when the Indian subcontinent got separated from the main continent so many, so many millions of years ago. We reached the base of the hill on the city outskirts as well as the beautiful green reserve forest, the hills around us, the lakes. Smell the fresh air. It's a nice little rocky trail. Be careful. Undiscovered trails in the last seven years. Typically every hill has a small little trail somewhere hidden that takes you to the top. So this is a little bit of a like a mini trek. So over these years we have discovered different uh, mountain ranges. I think in the initial uh, focus was on Nagalapuram in the first two years. Uh, 2008, 2009. After that, we discovered, uh, we did a lot of exploration trips in the Venkateswara National Reserve Forest, the Tirumala Hills, the seven sacred hills near Tirumala. Some of the more challenging experience over the years. So I remember we used to do those nine day survival missions in the uh, last week of the year, typically, when the company shuts down. We have like a weekend, two weekends, so nine days, uh, continuous days, where we used to keep the DFS missions, the dead for sure missions. So we are now halfway uh, our climb ascent towards the uh, top of the hill. So as you can see around you, we are already treated on some wonderful views on the surrounding plains. Uh, a lot of beautiful lush greens. You can hear the birds uh, singing all around you. So here they still have a nice habitat of fresh but at the same time, you can see the concrete tentacles of the city slowly <laughs> approaching. On a regular basis in recent times, we also uh, regularly organize the uh, fitness test, which is like a two-weekly uh, test for newcomers. So according to my uh, GPS, Global Positioning Satellite Watch, we have reached an altitude of around 320 meters. So that doesn't mean we have been climbing 300 meters uh, altitude, but uh, the difference, I think the difference between the base and uh, this should be around 150 meters. Well, off, we finally reached uh, the top of the hill. <laughs> So 
surprising to see so many hillocks uh, on the southern outskirts of the city. Oh, oh. So Chennai city is surrounded by some 30, 40 bluestone quarries. Uh, careful for the glass pieces here. We have other type of visitors also. So many of the quarries are like old blue stone mines which are not used anymore and have been uh, flooded with rainwater over the years. You can see it's, it's quite a huge cut in the landscape. In December uh, 2015, the Chennai rains or the Chennai floods. So hey, just like we have a little bit of excessive rain every year, it took a little bit of time for us to realize the severity of the flooding in Chennai. Also during December 1st and 2nd, for two continuous days, from morning till evening, we were actually uh, busy getting out people uh, who were stuck on their rooftops, uh, like uh, looking at um, submerged ground floors, even the water came to the first floor. So we took people out like on a priority basis, like people, pregnant women, Older people, kids, uh, people with a medical condition. So like that, we were able to rescue around 130 people. One week after the floods, we distributed around 2,000 uh, family relief kits to various uh, flood-impacted uh, hamlets near Chennai, Kodalur, as well as Pulikat. Also, North uh, Chennai was badly impacted. So after those initial uh, relief uh, material distribution, we also got into cleaning the city. Many of the people, uh, especially in Kottapuram slum, near the Adia river, which had uh, submerged, were uh, actually staying in very horrible conditions. People were living in one foot deep slush, uh, mixed with drainage, mixed with uh, black Adia river water. So we started cleaning the city, actually, street by street, neighborhood by neighborhood. Yeah, please follow us to the quarry. The flood is what brought me into CTC. <laughs> you know, apart from cleanups, we've been doing a lot of uh, eco conservative uh, options here, like uh, no plastic challenges, and we've been doing uh, coastal cleanups. Much more than that, Peter has made me an active human being. <laughs> <laughs> College Minister. I was in the house. 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 I found CTC. Chennai Trekkers. I found CTC. I found CTC. I found CTC. I found CTC. I one, point, one beautiful thing about this whole CTC platform, which has now grown to more than 30,000 uh, youngsters in, in Chennai and beyond the city, is that many of the things we do uh, inspires a lot of others, so it spreads out. And many actually people who normally would do get into you know, drinking habits or, or kind of useful, useless time pass now actually get into a, a sporty and a healthy lifestyle inspired by the other people in, in CTC. So Chennai's changed a lot over those two decades. A lot of positive things happen. A lot of people in the last three, four years have gotten physically active in sports. Chennai used to be a very laid back, lazy town. Now people are like so active, inspiring each other through smartphones, digital photography, Facebook, social media. People are running marathons, triathlons are active in so many different types of activities. Yeah, so many people keep asking me, who is, who is your inspiration? Personally, I don't have anyone to inspire me. I think I don't need anyone. I'm actually driven by a lot of internal fire, a lot of internal passion, uh, the connection with nature. I get so much positive energy from nature. I get so much satisfaction. I feel so intensely alive as I come closer to my physical and mental limits that it just uh, drives me uh, from the inside. I would suggest everyone to explore the unexplored, to uh, not follow existing footsteps or trails, but to create your own path and discover new places, new experiences, uh, which will define your uh, life. <laughs>